Today we are going to talk about uh, passing data from one activity to the other. Okay. So uh, we we'll okay. Then type the name of the project. Then next. Uh, then next. Blank activity next. And then you click finish. Okay. Once you've uh, you generated your activity, your main activity, uh, you will come here. Okay, under the Java folder, and then we'll create another the second activity. Okay, so just choose blank activity, then type the name that you wish. Mine I've called the second activity. Okay, I've already created mine. So uh, that's uh, we've now created the activity. So let's now come to the coding uh, part. So the first thing that I said was that we call the second. Activity using start activity. Okay. Then in the start activity, you pass the intent object. Okay. So that's how we do it. So come here and say intent i is equal to new intent. We initially instantiate the intent code, and then uh, here we pass the context. Okay, so with this, with this keyword, this means that this context that is this the main activity. Okay, so uh, and then the second activity, the class. Yeah, so the way we have our intent object so it is that intent object that will pass okay so uh, I okay so basically this one what I've done right now if I run the program it will just create uh, once it has created the, 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 the the main activity it will start the second activity. But now let's probably make it more interesting. Let's come and put there like some button so that when the user clicks the button, uh, the second activity can be called. Like I will just call it start. Yeah, I'll just call it open. And then open BTN. That's my uh, button. So I'll come to the main, okay, and I'll call it if you have its second button. Then I'll come and say open button is equal to find v by id. They will pass the ID of the button and then we cast the class just click control out control and then pass the button class okay so we we'll set the on click listener of the button button that set on click listener and then new view the can click listener okay then it will take an inner class excuse me new view dot can click listener it will generate for us uh, an inner class okay with the on click method okay so it is here in the on click method that we do this stuff so let's just copy it and paste it over there. Okay. So this one here, we change this one to get application context. That is because I've told you that that is, that is an inner class. So when you use the this keyword, it is as if you are saying that uh, it is the object of the context of the inner class. But what we want is that we want to pass the context of the main activity. Okay. 
So that's why uh, we just say get application context. So uh, right now, if we run the program and click the button, uh, we shall see the new it will open it will generate the new activity. But remember, what we want to do is that we want to pass the data. Okay. So uh, before passing the intent, we can add some data to the intent. Just say put extra. I the put extra. Then like mine, I uh, pass there the key. The key must always be the string okay so like i'll say greetings mm -hmm. then the value that you want to pass i want to say that okay Hello. Mm -hmm. main activity there is the value i want to pass you can pass anything okay so uh, before we run our program, let's come to our manifest file. Just come here and up manifest. Okay. Then you can see the second activity, its name and the label. But what we want to do first, we want to add the uh, intent filter. So say intent filter. Okay. Then close it and say action android name is equal to our name will become like mine for for instance will become it is here from this yeah dot second activity so you can use the same procedure to determine your Full name, okay. The full name for the activity that we want to call, okay. It's here, the package. So uh, let's come and run our program. Yeah, so it's loading. Okay, uh, here you can see our program, our simple program. So for what we that if I click the button, we should see the second activity and some... Uh, oh yeah, we should just see the second activity. So I click the open. Well, my computer is a bit slow. You can see here the second activity. Then very first, uh, Let's come uh, and now retrieve the data that we had passed. Remember in the main activity we had passed some data using the i dot put extra method. So very first let's come and say intent i is equal to get intent. Okay. So this one uh, there we just created an intent object. What we want to do is with this intent object uh, we want to use it uh, to capture Okay, to retrieve I mean uh, the data that we will post. So come and say if i is not equal to now then say uh, string uh, I'll just say receive is equal to i that get string extra okay then in the string extra we pass the name of the key you remember the key that is how you say that must be a uh, string here it is so it is this key that we want to pass over here greetings okay so uh, that data will be we will store it in the string received okay so what we want to do is that we want to display that Data. I'll just say text the connect text this that is the context okay then received and then uh, 
just the play down the show so uh, let's run our program so, guys here is our program Well, my machine is a little bit slow, but here it is. So I click the open button, it should give us the second activity and some post message. Okay, you can see hello from main activity. Okay, that is the thing. Let's redo it again. I click open hello for main activity okay so uh, this that was just a beginner introduction code okay uh, thank you for listening please uh, subscribe if you like the video so that you can receive more okay? goodbye